Welcome back, and we are enjoying this summer-like week, and, and each day it gets more like summer out there. Do it just gets a little warmer. Do you see Christine's shot? It looks like she has a halo. <laughs> she does look heavenly. You, it's you more position, than usual. I like how you position yourself right in the middle of the sun. Well, I gotta see it in the middle of the screen, I guess. It's it just, nice. I, I put Here the sun go. in the middle of the screen uh. for you. <laughs> She's angelic. <laughs> I, I wish the weather were angelic, but it's gonna be a little toasty for some folks today. We're talking about pushing the 90 mark today, and we have an impact day for you due to the air quality alert that's in effect. So this is a code orange air quality alert. It means the air quality could be unhealthy for sensitive groups, children, the elderly, folks with asthma or heart or other lung conditions might want to limit your strenuous activity outdoors today. Here's our News 8 Storm Team forecast, a mix of sun and high clouds to start, 72 at 9 o'clock. That's close to our average high for this time of the year. Hazy sunshine this afternoon pushing that 90 and then this evening mostly sunny and warm temperatures in the 80s. Overnight, it cools off to the upper 50s near 60. Similar to this morning, we'll see mostly clear skies. And tomorrow, mostly sunny to end the work week here, but still very warm. A day similar to today with still comfortable humidity levels. Looking at our currents, it's 54 in Lewistown, 53 for Lebanon. Good morning, Lancaster, you have 56. Harrisburg checking in at 61. Chambersburg, 59 degrees. So today and tomorrow, I think dew points stay in the 50s. That equates to a comfortable feel to the air, but when dew points hit the 60 mark or above, it gets a little stickier, and that's what we see coming for us this weekend. Checking the pollen, high tree pollen levels, pine predominantly today. Pollen for grass is high, and the weed pollen levels are currently low. Here's a look at Super Doppler 8, and boy, there's just nothing to see. We have a huge area of high pressure over the East Coast, and that's what's kind of been baking us day after day after day. So we started out in the 70s on Monday, and we had some temperatures near 80 on Tuesday. Yesterday we were in the upper 80s, and I think we could squeeze out a 90 somewhere later today or tomorrow. So here's what the predictor shows. High pressure stands firm, keeping those rain chances extremely slim over the next couple of days. Make sure you give the garden, the plants out there, a much needed drink after these upper 80s. As we head into Friday, mostly sunny skies, not much of a change, still pretty warm for this time of the year. Temperatures about 13 degrees above average. And finally on Saturday, a little change here. You'll notice more cloud cover, a couple of showers or thunderstorms around, but nothing to cancel your plans over this weekend. Hey, let's talk tropics. We have our first potential tropical system of the season. It would be named Anna if it becomes a storm. It does have an 80% chance of development, but it's outside of the tropics right now. So if it does acquire some tropical characteristics, it would become a subtropical storm. That's what we call those. Here's a look at the 10 day forecast. Temperatures still in the upper 80s all the way through the weekend, then a break. Are you guys waiting for this cold front on Monday and a Tuesday? Ah, 70s return. That's a bit more typical for this time of the year.